everyone. I am, let's see, it is almost four o'clock on Wednesday. You'll be seeing this on Thursday. I uh, have spent the day figuring out Friday's index card project and also um, doing some other Christmas, just getting things together, finished up um, the index card that we did with the makeup and uh, thought, let's do some medieval mirage. We talked about that. It is no not easy to get the brain to go from Christmas to all of a sudden a botanical. So I don't remember what we were doing. I had this pile and I thought, okay, well, let's just see if we can catch up. I think a lot of you just delight in my chaos. And uh, so let's just see. This was uh, just pushed off to the left here. I know we talked about um, ironing some wax. I think we did these together. Oh, Medieval Mirage, I am in love. Just absolutely love Medieval Mirage papers. There are so many beautiful papers out there, but I have to tell you, Medieval Mirage is just one of my all-time favorites. I had gotten an idea after our last session, and I'm trying now to remember what it was. I think, by the looks of this, I was going to... I had this piece of... Uh, coffee tea dyed paper and I think what I was going to do was glue this down here let's see let's put our heads together and see if this makes any sense so glue that down there glue this here oh that would be really cute and it could be a very very cute journal spot that would open up okay I'm pretty sure that that is what this was going to be so while I have that in my head and then we have this piece here we can decide what to do with that or make a tag out of it so let me find my glue book I hope everybody's doing well I have been trying to catch up and just do a bunch of giveaway things. I did finish uh, for Friday's index card. I have, I think, about six, five or six of the uh, things that we were gonna do and then kind of took that idea again for um, this week, so we'll see how you like that, but, oh, don't you just, I mean, what is not to love, guys, really, what is not to love, and I think I can do this with a glue stick, so let's, let's try this, I hope, and then I'm gonna have to figure out how much stitching I want, because, I think I might want to do a bunch of stitching with threads. Just because of the look of it. This is, oh my goodness. I, I, I'm amazed at just how off I can get my work to be, truly. All right, hopefully, Charlotte, that is better. Oh, just so pretty, so pretty. I think this is gonna be, I had thought about possibly putting that on there like that, but then I think I would want to do something over here. So let's, 
Yeah, I kind of like the idea of opening that up and seeing that color. there. Sorry about that, guys. I have no idea who that was. I apologize. And... As a matter of fact, let me just... There we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. It's so gross. I'm just gonna we'll just turn this down. Turn it off. There we go. I think it's off. Yep. Off. Okay, guys. Life, it won't leave you alone. No matter what you do, you can't get away from it. Even when you sneak up into your room, it's like, oh my good, goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, so kind of a cloudy day today. My husband checked the uh, temperature of the pool just, you know, I mean, we know it's way too cold to go in, but he was just curious. 68 degrees. No, I'm not going in that. 68 degrees. And we do not have a heated pool. So, yeah. Not happening. Okay. Now I'm thinking. Oh, just love the, the idea of this. I love so I'm thinking if this is what we are going to stick with, and I want this to go here. Then I think maybe just a piece of coffee tea dyed paper. I'm gonna get my medieval pages out and see if I have something that just might. No, I think maybe plain paper. So let's check out what we've got. Sorry, I am right here. I'm just pulling out. It wouldn't do me any good to waste some really, really nice paper on that because it's not going to be large enough to really see. So if we just take and If I had some washi tape, I think I might add some washi tape to this as well. As a matter of fact, let me just cut this. The cutter in my lap, once again, in my lap, just because I'm left-handed, it is just convenient to do that. If I were to glue, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. If I were to glue this onto there, I think that'll work. I um, bought some Amity Bloom washi tape, and I am wondering if, because it is botanical, if um, it might look good. Let's see if I can tear this. Yes. All right, we are gonna glue that there. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this is going to work. So I'm hoping everybody's doing okay. You're going to think me crazy, but I um, am thinking of putting the Christmas tree up. I really, really am. And um, not because I am 
pushing Christmas and don't want to enjoy fall, I think you can have the tree up and still and still enjoy fall. I don't think that's a problem. But it's so much work to put the tree up. And it's up for such a small amount of time, it feels like to me, that just the idea of um, having it to look at, even if it's just the tree with the lights, doesn't necessarily have to have all the ornaments on it right away. So that's what I'm kind of thinking about. I'm going to run it by my husband and see if maybe he is... Um, conducive to that idea so we're gonna we're gonna see about that just gives you a little bit more time to enjoy the festivities but still have all your fall out at the same time so that bends which is important and I'm thinking and I'm wondering if I want to distress and um, not so I'm not too worried about that. So I've got the uh, wax on the back of my mind and I've got um, the uh, the actual wax with the iron. So I'm not positive, but I think this is gonna this is gonna be a good idea right here. I think. Like this. I think it just might be easier to. I don't really want to cut that. So look at how pretty this is. And then we'll come back and revisit if we think we want to distress or. Um, yeah, we have to do something because I don't particularly care for that. I think that uh, you can show off this digital kit better if um, it's got some distressing. But look at how beautiful that is. And this just gives this flap a little bit more um, thickness. So this is what I got from Amity Bloom. She was, um, I only got one of her. Um, washi tapes, but I am thinking that might look really good. So let's try, let's try this out and see. Nazzy, Nazzy does a really good job. Everything that she does. I was so happy when she came out with her washi tapes. That girl's got talent. So let's see. I think this might be the perfect color. And this just might. Okay, Nazzy, where is the end? I can't see it. And I can't feel it. Oh, is it right here? I think so. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to see, do we need to put some glue on the back of this, or is it pretty strong? You never really can tell, and I think it's going to need some glue. So we're going to piece about like that. There we go. Put that right down on this crease. And hopefully I don't regret this. But I really believe this is going to add to the beauty. The color is perfect. Just perfect. So let's... Do this and then see what's next. Oh, really pretty. Yep, look at that, guys. So 
we will go ahead and distress this, but just imagine, look at how pretty that is. Pull this out, look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 really, really pretty. So there's a cute piece of ephemera. And then I know, I went ahead off camera and I put, sorry about that, I uh, put the um, acetate in the window. Remember uh, the last time we were doing this, I was trying to decide, do I want a tag to go in here where you can see the tag or not? And I decided, yes, I wanted to see the tag. So then what I need to do is go ahead and adhere this to the back. So it's like that. So let's do that. I think I've got a couple of those that we can do and get done. So we are going to glue that down there. But I tell you, when you get away from something, it is not that easy to remember what you were doing and get, and get back into it. It really isn't. But I think when you have a holiday, I need to, I still have not found my, I've not looked to uh, check out my die cuts for the holidays. I need to do that. There's nowhere near enough time in the day to do what I want to do. So I'm hoping if I just can follow this crease that I am going to be good on this side. That's the important side right there because I don't want anything coming up when you fold this. So let's see if I'm good. And we're going to know when I open this. See how that comes up? That is no bueno right there. So now I need to try to find a way to cut this. But you don't want that. Don't want that crease because it's going to interfere with your tag being able to easily slide in and out and we don't want that and I could take a piece of um, scotch tape and then just put it down there but I don't want to do that if I don't have to what I also could do too is stitch this but if I do I am going to lose tag space so you know even if you like the idea of the stitching, you have to be careful about that. All right, so I made this. So if we fold this in and we put some glue right down here. We don't lose tag space. And then, of course, we have to close the bottom off. So we need glue right there. And then this should fold. And we should have a nice pocket right here. And we do, and it really is kind of a tag booklet. I do believe that this needs to be um, distressed, obviously, because I've distressed the window, but you can open this up and you've got, depending upon, you can leave this the way it is, or you could add coffee tea dyed paper to that, but that makes a really cute spot to journal in. And then we have our place right here. 
Come on, Charlotte. You have it right here for our tag. So we should be good right there. So I think we had a couple of those. Let me see. That was one. And here was, I think there's, do I have three? Three and then there was something else. So this one does not have an opening. This one was going to go just like that. So I glue that here. Like that, we should be, we should be good. So let's glue this down and then we'll trim what needs to be trimmed. My glue stick. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure yet if I want to uh, stitch on this or not. If I do stitch, I'm going to stitch off camera. Somebody that saw my YouTube short this morning wanted to know if that was my cat. And it is. That's Maggie. She was just sitting there looking at me and so I grabbed the camera and thought, why not? There she is. Let's just do it. Let's show her off. Just one blue eye, one green eye. She's about 15 years old, and she's just the sweetest little cat. We're not even here, but it doesn't matter because we are going to close this up. I have this flap right here, so we're going to close that like that. And look at what a really, really cute. And then you'll notice I did not um, do any... Um, distress ink around this window before I put the acetate on. Some will have distress ink and some will not. Okay, I can see this needs a trim. We need a bit of a trim down here see that and a bit of a trim up here but this should be good all right Hopefully I didn't close this up. I don't think so. There we go. So we've got an... Oh, I did not get the bottom. Okay. Well, that's good to know. We need to get the bottom. Right? Let me get a little glue going. Get the bottom. And we've got a nice little, nice little journal place and um, a tag. And then we've got this one here. And this is the same as the first one. We're going to do the same thing. Beautiful. Isn't it so pretty with that poppy? So we are going to glue this down. So I've started getting my cookbooks out to see what I want to do. As far as baking goes, my problem is I get the cookbooks out and I want to do everything. And of course you can't do everything. Most of the time, I never even know what's going to be for dinner, so it's funny. Okay, so we have that. 
I'm gonna glue this down. And then I've got one more that is ready that is going to be a fold-out tag. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow I'll make a Tobby Lobby. Let's see what they've got on sale. Hopefully a lot of good things so that I can buy multiples and we can have giveaway. Yay. Giveaway. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby. Like I had mentioned, it's been a long time. Okay, let's see. So pretty. Really pretty. Look at that. Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I will put um, Jarf's information down in the description box so you can go and have a visit. That is really pretty. So we've got that. Then what I had was I took this tag. Look at that. And that's so pretty. And I wanted to make a fold out so that you would have a lot of journal space. And I was trying to think if I do it this way and then fold it and fold it, or do I wanna do it this way and then it would fold this way and then out, or I think I'm going to do it this way. So we're going to glue this on here. And then I just might plug the iron in. I had looked at the time when I sat down, and I got to tell you, I, I don't remember what time I started this. So I don't know how many minutes we've been on. I could stand up and look. That might be an idea, Charlotte. Stand up and have a look. I don't want to keep you on forever. Because I'm not really, I'm just, we're hanging out. Okay, so what we're going to do. Is take this. some glue right here. Okay, we're going to take this and we are going to fold it this way. Just like that. And then we're going to take it and we're going to fold it this way. You'll see what we're going to do. And I guess if we wanted to, we could take it and fold it this way, like this. So now we've got a great tag. So let's cut this and then we will. I'll reveal what we've done. So we're just going to go ahead and cut this all off. You're going to have the top on all the pages. Unless we open it up and I just really don't like the look of it. Then we'll cut the top off. So we don't have to have it. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to want to cut the top off. So... Yeah, I don't think I like the way that that looks. So, well, maybe. So now what you have is this, which is pretty cool. Because you've got a cute tag here. We can put a belly band on this. We could put a, a, a paper clip on this, an alligator clip. You could do really whatever you wanted to do with this. But, and then we can collage this at the end with just about anything that we've got. What do we have here? A yellow poppy. So I had cut some extra little tidbits out here. And 
really don't want that going that way. Don't care for that. But you get the gist. We could go ahead and we could add really whatever we wanted to this. But look at how cute that is. And you have got all this extra space to journal. So I like that. And I'm looking at this thinking, do I want that just to go straight or... I think, I think we'll leave it. If I have to think about it that much, then I think we're gonna leave it. So now we've got that piece, and then we have these to play with. So it's a matter of what would we like to do with these. And we could do the same thing all over again, or We could make this a flip on a page where this just flips out. This could be underneath it like that, and this could flip out. Let's see, let me think about this for a second. This could flip out and we would literally have that. You know what, let's just try this. So in order to do that, we are going to need to cut this down. because we're going to need a, uh, a hinge. Okay, so this will go, let's see which way is right side up. I believe it's like that. We will glue that there. This will be the hinge. This will go on there. This will open up, oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Okay, let's glue this down. That will be nice. So let's glue this down. And then we have to decide, do we want this loose? And I think I might do the same thing with this that I did with the other. this down. Just like that. And this folds over. It right and just like that so that this then will open up yeah and then I think what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did with that tag so this I think is gonna be more of a journal card and instead of wasting this coffee dyed paper Let's go ahead and is it even? I can't see. Let's do that. So 
So you have that, and then you have this, and then this. I don't want to waste this little bit. We could put that there, and it could be a tuck. Put that there. This could be a tuck. Let's see what this looks like. But I am not a fan of this, so I think we're going to go ahead and do another one of those like this. And um, I think I have some extra of the lavender. Or I could print off another piece. And we could do the tuck if we wanted to. So I think let's do this. I think this will be really cute. This side, it's got more texture. And then I think I might plug the iron in. And let's see. If I iron one of those envelopes. Okay. So we want to come like this. Come up a little bit. I'm so glad that the glue stick is so forgiving. Okay. So we've got that. And then let's go ahead, let's come in on this. Okay, blue stick. Okay, let's see what we've got now. Just a really pretty journal card. Look at that. So, we will add something here. We can add anything here later. We could just add something like that. That would be a really, really cute tuck. I'll back this with a piece of um, file folder or something and add that right there like that. Um, I like that it matches, this matches this, so I think that that would be really cute, and then we could have a tuck, but you pull this out, this opens up, this opens up, then you've got all of this back there as well, so that looks really good. Now, I have a couple more of these. I think there's one more um, of the lavender, and then we have this one right here. But I think I'm going to probably do along the same thing, but I think what I want to do is um, plug the iron in. I don't know how long we've been on, but I think let's get this sill pat down. Let me plug the iron in. It only takes a, a, just a couple minutes to heat up. 
and let's try to wax one of those envelopes and see how that looks. A little craft iron. Like I mentioned, it doesn't take it doesn't take long at all to heat this up. So Let's see what we want to try. Let's just grab this off the bottom. And I have my little, let me grab a drink of water. And it's already getting hot. Then if I remember, I want to show you something at the end. See if you think you'd be interested in creating this, and if you are, we will do it. So this is just a votive. We're going to go ahead and using this votive, and it's orange blossom, this votive, so oh, it smells so good. Go ahead. We're hot enough. Yeah, we're melting. Oh, it smells good. So we'll do that side. Turn it around. And then I'll do the other side. I, I got these at Ikea several years ago. They were like $1.99 for $24. Um, just a ridiculous price. I have no idea what they would be today, but just a ridiculous price. And so, of course, I buy all these votives, and then, you know, if you're not using them, they're just sitting there. And I thought, let's just try this, and it worked, and I liked how it looked. Okay, get all the little pieces. It's very soft wax. I'm going to turn it over. We'll do the other side. See how much of a vellum effect we get. I like to distress first and then wax. Because I think it makes the distressing just look rich. So look at what we've got. Can you see that? It's just so beautiful and so soft. So let's go ahead. Some on this side. And like I said, you can see how soft this is. And if you watch my video the other day you saw, I have no idea where my beeswax is. I know there's no way I used it all, but I cleaned up and at some point and have no idea where I put it. Okay, let's try this and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what I said I'd show you Get your opinion, and then I'm going to say goodbye until the next video. And I think I will just keep waxing while I'm here and get this done. Should get out my wax and do wax seals for this as well. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. And if you think there's too much wax, you can easily take a um, paper.
paper towel and wax and wipe, but look at how beautiful that is. Oh, we've got we've got wax there that I just picked up. Look at that. Really, really pretty, and it folds easily, and it just looks translucent. Oh, and it smells so good compared to, let's see. There's an envelope. See the difference? And then if you open this up, just so you'll see the difference when it's opened. In case you didn't catch my other medieval mirage, I did the same thing. See the difference? Really, really, really pretty. So I totally prefer using the wax. I just think it's really pretty. Do you have to have wax? Absolutely no, you don't have to have wax. But I like the effect, so I think I'm going to go ahead. But I was thinking about making some of these little pine cones. I made the larger pine cones with my mom and somebody gifted me this at that last crop that I went to. This was on my table one day. And if you are interested in knowing how to do this, if you let me know in the comments, if there's enough of you that want to do this, then I will go out and get a hold of, um, I don't know if I'll get the mini ones, I might get the larger ones. But this is just, it's so easy to do. And um, if you want to do it, we can do it together. So let me know, and I will see you guys in uh, for Index Card Friday. I want to thank you so much for hanging out yet once again. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Hugs to you. Bye.